Hello there! This is LEGO Dynasty, and today I'm bringing you guys a review on the LEGO Speed Champions 4 GT Heritage Edition and Bronco R. It is set number 76905, comes with 660 pieces, and is rated to ages 8 and up. This set retails in the United States for $49.99, as well as in Canada for $69.99. So without further ado, let's kick off this review by looking at the box. So I can see the box has some nice detail, a nice uh, kind of a desert landscape there. We got the off-roading, uh, I believe that's the Bronco. Then you got the Heritage as well on the race track, or road, I guess I should say. Back has some nice rendered shots of the vehicles there. Looks very nice. Got the actual cars themselves. Looks very, very good. And that is the box. Starting off by looking at the minifigures, we have the male figure that drives the blue car. And he looks very good. He's got a nice torso print. You can kind of see the Ford logo on his torso. It's kind of hard to make out. So it's not perfect, but it still works. And then on the back, you can see Ford, and you can actually make out the letters. So, very nice figure. He does come with a white helmet. Uh, does not have a double-sided face. And the helmet would just go on like that. Next up, we have the female driver that is driving the Bronco. Uh, you can tell that because her torso print does say Bronco on there. I don't know if you can make it out, but it does say that. Very nice torso and leg printing compared to the other figure. Does have some nice back printing as well. It says Bronco on the back. Looks very nice. And this figure does have a double side face. So kind of interesting. This one uh, does, the other one does not. You can kind of see it's kind of got uh, some dirt. Um, I guess to symbolize she's driving in off-roading. So very nice double sided head. And does have the black helmet as well. Taking a look at the Heritage Edition, the 4 GT. Very, very cool design. Uh, starting off, I will say uh, these parts here are printed. They are not stickers, which is very nice. Uh, the printed headlights there. Uh, the rest is pretty much all stickers, unfortunately, but very nice to get those pieces as printed. Uh, other than uh, this plate here, which is printed as well, the canopy piece. Kind of see the nice detail, the nice detail all around. See the bottom just looks very good very typical for a uh, speed champion set in terms of its shaping you know it'll look like a nice luxury vehicle and as usual has wheels moves very well on flat surfaces and would move well on carpet as well so overall very nice and of course you can fit the figure inside the set Like so. You can see him ready to drive off. Mm -hmm. uh, he does have the five star rims. Uh, you are given the extra ones as usual. Kind of interesting they gave uh, two sets of these. They almost didn't need to. They could have just gave one uh, little baggie of rims because basically uh, the Bronco uses the these this style, which I'll show off. So you basically are left with a bunch of extra rims. So you have the, the 10 prong ones here, and then you also have the extra five star ones from the Bronco. Now they are a little bit different color. This one's more of a gunmetal color on this vehicle, while uh, the Bronco one is a black. So that might be why they decided to uh, give two bags. But it's just interesting how they utilize both uh, sets of rims that we've been accustomed to for speed champion sets, unless it's they give uh, the printed pieces that we've been getting recently. But overall, very nice vehicle. I love the color of this. It looks really cool, and it's a great addition. Next up, we have what I think is really the main selling point of this set, and is the reason this set had uh, such a significant increase in price than we're used to seeing from uh, Speed Champions. We have the Bronco R, and it just looks excellent. Just all around great detailing. Unfortunately, pretty much everything on this uh, vehicle is stickers. In fact, yeah, everything on the set is stickers in comparison to that set, which had a few uh, printed pieces. 
all the extra detail you're seeing, you're seeing are sticker details. So all around there you can see, just taking a look at the bottom, see the nice detail, how it came out to be. Very, very nicely designed, I must say though. Back you can see the extra tires, for if you pop a tire out in the middle of nowhere, I'm sure that would be very fun to try and uh, change over a tire if that happened. But overall, just excellent, excellent detail. And it doesn't have a windshield, which uh, makes sense. Oh, I accidentally knocked off the uh, top part, so I'll just show that off now, I guess. See the nice detail on the inside. Uh, the tires aren't are only held by uh, that top piece, so if I like flip over, yeah, actually they, they stay pretty well actually. So they're actually pretty stable in there, those tires. Let's see, they'll move around a little bit without that on top, but generally you're going to have that piece on top the whole time because uh, the only reason you take it off is so you can place the minifigure inside the set. Which you would do simply like so. Do have the extra passenger seat, of course. There we go. And then you would just place this on. And it would go on like so. It can be a little bit annoying with the minifigure inside to get it all closed down and looking perfect. But you can see the minifigure there like so. It does knock out this blue piece. That's just unfortunately the way it'll have to be unless you uh, move the figure's hand farther up. Uh, it just doesn't really angle that well in there. So yeah, that's unfortunately sticking out there. So. Apparently on the box it shows it would if you angle it correctly. I'm not gonna refix it, but you could get it so it would look better. For the time being, I'll just leave it as is. But yeah, excellent. Now uh, with these tires, I found they do kind of get stuck a little bit. You might be able to even hear it. I think that'll go away with time. Mine just might be a little bit stuck for a moment as it gets used to because it was really bad when I first put it on and it was moving around. It's gotten better already, but you probably still hear it while I'm talking. Just, that might be annoying. I don't know if these tires will work as bad. Good, uh, kind of ironically on like carpet. Uh, I think it'll be better on a smooth surface. I haven't tested it out on carpet, I should say, but just in my experience, uh, these vehicles move great, and just with how this is kind of moving already, I'm not sure it would work the best on uh, surfaces like a carpet. Um, taking a look at the tires again, you know, they are bigger. You got the rims, though. You do have the extra. You could actually put some of the extra rim designs onto this set if you so desired. I opted not to. And, yeah, that is pretty much the Bronco R. So this Ford GT Heritage Edition and Bronco R Speed Champion set is an excellent set. Now, it is on the more pricey end, but at 660 pieces, I think you're getting excellent value. Now, uh, I've got to say, uh, especially the Bronco R was a completely different building experience than I'm used to for Speed Champions, which uh, can add to it or detract from it. So basically, it took me, uh, generally these Speed Champion sets don't take me long to build especially these type of cars. This vehicle alone took me about an hour and a bit just to build it. It was, um, it's not that it was complex. It just had so many parts. There's, I would say the majority of the parts are in this vehicle and it just took a while to build. Uh, so that's just something to keep in mind as you're getting the set is this will be a completely different building experience than you're used to for these regular Speed Champions cars. And I still think that's okay. It, it's just uh, something to keep in mind when you're getting this set. Um, it's definitely not like, like the age range speaks for itself. It wasn't like difficult, it just took a while and it probably will take longer than you're uh, used to on these Speed Champion sets. Uh, with that being said, I still love these vehicles. They're great additions to the Speed Champions lineup. I know the set has been out for quite a while. I think it came out last summer in 2021, maybe even before that. So. It's been out for a while, I waited to get it, I, I wanted it when it first came out, but I just decided to wait, and finally picked it up, and uh, finally built it now. Uh, so, with that being said, uh, I really like this set, I think it's awesome, I love the colors of the vehicles, I think they just look great, and yeah, 
With that being said, that is all my opinion. So this has been LEGO Dynasty. Please leave a like and subscribe if you have enjoyed, or leave a comment down below and tell me what you didn't enjoy, or uh, are you planning on getting any Speed Champion sets like this one or any of the newer ones? I do have reviews on many of the newer Speed Champion sets on my channel as well, so feel free to check out those. Thank you all for watching, and have a great day, everyone.